I've just got an invitation through the mail. Your presence requested this evening is formal. Top hat, white tie, and tail. White tie? That's so 2020. After a year of COVID, we're a bit more laid back now. Our Zoom skills are better, but our hair is longer, and our attire is, well, more colorful. Hi, I'm Tom Reps, and welcome to the 2021 UWCS Awards video. I was this year's chair of the awards committee, whose other members were Ginny Sai, Amos Ron, Charles Fisher, Shuchi Chawla, and Mike Swift. I have a number of awards to announce in this video. The first is the DeWitt Scholarship for Undergraduates, which was donated by Turing Award winner Jim Gray in honor of former UWCS professor David DeWitt. We have three recipients this year. They are Xu Lin Liu, Julian de Castelnau, and Rui Shi Bosley Sai. Congratulations to all three. And this award carries real money, by the way. The next group of awards are the um, is the, the summer RA ships, which were announced a while ago, but I want to read the names of the recipients. Sayali Alatkar, Mu Sai, Christine Lee, Nathaniel Sauerberg, Yu Chen Zhang, Yi Wei Zhang, Karen Chen, Saravi Gupta, Sambhav Satija, Wiley Corning, Anve Grover, Carter Sifferman, Arun Sundar, Ye Ping Wang, and Aisha Mohammed. We hope that all of the projects result in successful long-term partnerships with your faculty mentor or mentors. Good luck. The next award is the Graduate Instructor Award. The awardee was described by his nominator as simply superb, the most responsive, responsible, and capable TA I've ever worked with in our department. This year's recipient is Tian Hao Chai. We now come to the graduate fellowships and we're making two awards of Cisco Systems Graduate Distinguished Fellowships. First winner has an unusual background. His undergraduate degree is in music performance. Originally a non-degree student retraining in CS, he eventually enrolled as a graduate student and has had fabulous success. One of his standout contributions is in motion planning, which was described in one of his letters as a deep field with a long history. Advancement in this field has rather stalled and neither the student nor his advisors could claim any expertise in the field. The student pushed ahead regardless and his experimental results were completely off the charts, orders of magnitude better than anything that is available. The first of this year's recipients is Daniel Rakita. In addition to letters from advise, the advisor or advisors, we asked for letters from people other than the advisor or advisors. And for the second recipient, there was a detailed letter from a faculty member at the other UW, the University of Washington. The letter said about one of the student's papers, an impressive contribution of the paper was the accumulation of knowledge from more than a decade's research in HRI that described appropriate robot behaviors in different human interaction contexts and its formalization using linear temporal logic. It was very ambitious and the student did not shy away from it. I love that paper. I wish I had written it. Second of this year's recipients is David Porfirio. The next award is the Carolyn Rosner Award for Excellence in Teaching. This year's winner of the Carolyn Rosner Award had an excellent nomination letter written by one of our sophomore undergraduates. The student wrote about office hours. Seeing the many other students like me who came and left with quality feedback allowed me to witness the impact educators can create not only on students' educations, but also their drive to learn and believe in oneself, which are especially fundamental in these introductory courses. This year's winner is Gary Dahl. We now come to the Graduate Research Award, which typically is given to a just graduated or about to graduate PhD student who has done a really significant piece of research during his or her time in the department. Students are nominated based on their dissertation or the papers that will form the core of their dissertation. Which reminds me of a story about a graduate student who submits his thesis to his advisor. A few days later, the advisor returns it with a single note needs improvement. So the student makes a few changes and resubmits it. Again, the advisor returns it with a single note, needs improvement. This time, the student pours over it, double checks every word, adds every reference he can find, and adjusts the layout to make it more readable. He walks into his, his advisor's office and says, I've done everything I possibly can. This is absolutely perfect. The advisor takes it from him and says, okay, I guess I'll read it this time. 
This year's winner of the Graduate Research Award not only got his advisor to read the thesis, but a Turing Award winner did as well, who wrote a letter of recommendation that said, I believe that the thesis contains two results of considerable importance that will stand the test of time. This year's winner is Shui Xiao. The final award is the Departmental Service Award. As you can imagine, this year has been a full year of COVID-created difficulties. This year's award winner was described as a fantastic problem solver, a consummate professional, incredibly effective in his role, and always friendly and cheerful to boot. He truly is the backbone of the department and is highly deserving of this recognition. As you might have guessed, the winner is Lance Potter. Well, that ends this year's award ceremony, and I'd like to thank all of the people who took the time to nominate deserving candidates, as well as to congratulate all of the winners. Thank you.